Do you have any ideas at all? Nope. We're gonna need more than a Shinto priest to exercise this game. We need some some Buddhists. We're gonna need some some Christians, some Catholics, just, some Jewish people. Just just a mixing pot of religion. <laughs> All right, so here we are at Evil Within: The Consequence. Uh, Donnie, are you, are we, we've had a we've had a, a little bit of time between the last DLC and now to think about a, a plethora of ideas that we we've come up with. We want to talk about that now, or do we want to? I mean, not. I mean, well, it'll some come of to these us. might be relevant later. Yeah, some of these will probably be very relevant later. Like that one will be. I'm just pointing at them. It's like that one will be relevant later. Yeah, that but... one. Uh, this one's relevant. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> All these things. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about? Uh, man, you know what? Just yeah. to start, let's just get into it. But uh, I will say this one actually does apply. When I was uh, one thing that I I thought of while I was like, while I was thinking about one? this game, I wasn't looking at what the fuck you were talking about. This one right there. I was thinking about this point, and uh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, you wrote that down. I did write that down. Um, this game reminds me, well, with the DLC at least, reminds me of Alan Wake. Wait, do I this? Yes, you that imports all the stuff that you did. Okay. So, it's not a big thing, but whatever. But you know, at the you end, know, of... it's important to import your choices because it'll it'll matter when you get to the end. <laughs> God, I, I want the green hallway. Right. That's what we're shooting for. I I, I want the blue one. <laughs> Some people. Some anyway. people like red hallways. I'm not down with that. Anyway, Alan Wake. Alan Wake. The way that this DLC ended and introduced the next one is like Alan Wake, because Alan Wake was separated into chapters like a television show, and they would preview... Your past secrets haunt you. Was, was Alan you go. Wake to good? Them, yeah, I liked it at least. Back. Oh. It's a damn better horror game than this one, at least. But better than the DLC of this? No! Stop! Get away from yeah, me! Yeah, I, I still say yeah. Stop! Man, she's got like emotions. <laughs> I know. Oh, we found her safe hospital. Is it over? Hers is much cleaner. I'm back. And full of cats. Well, she likes cats. She apparently likes cats. It's like a s Kidman. Wait. Wait. Wait a fucking second. Who is that? Chapter 3, Illusions. Okay. <laughs> Gee, I wonder if she's out of the thing yet. Subtle as a brick to the face. Hmm, I don't see anyone at the door. <laughs> I wonder. No, oh, no. 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 Where is this place? Oh, hey, actually. <laughs> oh. Oh man, and she's got a hall right across from Seb's. Oh, is that a room. safe? Yeah. Oh shit, I actually never saw that one before. That, that's new. This one's real important. Um, oh god. I take it you don't know what the secret to this one is. No, yet. I'm going to guess that the number is embedded somewhere in the environment. We're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna learn the secret. Damn it! What? <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing if it's not there, it's it's somewhere. See, but not well, not that. Exp uh, most of them were immediately in the area, though, huh? Yeah. So it's you know, it's it's got to be somewhere around here. But the cross, it's outside of her door. That explains it. That explains who's who's whose room this is. Because yeah. we never went in here. This dude. And how many of the crosses show up toward the end of Seb's uh, story? <laughs> What the fuck? Why is this making so much more sense? I don't know. I, this game well, is. There's kind of. I've got to be looking, overlooking something simple. I'm. Maybe it's this. Where'd the bed go? Oh, there's oh. one. Twenty-one, one, one five. five. All okay. right, there you go. Simple, easy. Um, um twenty-one. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Was it one? One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was... <laughs> what? Well, I guess it would automatically do both of those, so... Um, okay. Sure, why not? Sure. All right, so we're forming a new letter. Yep. Oh, I can just turn it down. All right. Seb, are you in there? <laughs> I don't I don't think Seb's in there. Creepy guy. Leslie. Leslie. Actually, huh, this one has a bunch of crosses outside of it, too. Mm. What does it mean? Hello. Hello. But Come yeah, warp out. I, I kind of thought that uh, nope. the voice of whoever was knocking at the door sounded like, what's her name? Not Lisa. Uh, oh yeah. Um. We can't <laughs> even remember her name. It's because they never oh. say her name. Hello. Hey you. What's going on? <laughs> hey you, that's Where a good name. <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot answer that. Are you kidding me? Oh, waste of time. <laughs> See, that is the correct response. Right? That is the correct response to her. <laughs> it's like, can't answer my questions, then fucking get out of my way. Um, no newspaper. No clipping. Can you, can you go behind her? Oh, hey, you actually can't explore. We must have that boy. Um. He will enable us to change everything. Oh, it's Kitten. I'll come back with him. I needn't remind you the consequences for failure. Oh, he dropped the title name. No, but if Ruvik leaves with him, <laughs> there must be some way to stop him. Okay, so <laughs> now she's trying to succeed in her mission and also stop Ruvik. Yes. I still don't understand what she's got against Ruvik. Why do I get to use this door? <laughs> I don't know. Seb never got to. Oh. What? Ah, this looks like you're going ahead. Oh, God. Kidman. What? Did that say Cannon? Kevin? Oh. No, Kidman. Oh, Kidman. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Duh. What the fuck was that? It was the thing. That was weird and genuinely sort of spooky. <laughs> Society is wounded. Oh, hey. People are suffering. Hopeless. Just as you were before we saved you. Mobius Light has no effect on this man. Nope. For everyone. STEM is a machine designed to connect everyone's subconscious. And whoever is at the center has the power to influence them. There couldn't be a better tool to change the world, to lead. Society needs a curator, and Mobius will be just that. Ushering in the next step of humanity. That. <laughs> that. That. There, there's okay. an actual motivation. I can't believe this. It's like, oh, I understand what everyone's trying to do here. I. You know what? There's so much of this that feels like an actual story. <laughs> I mean. Okay. So even among. Uh, what do you call it? Even among... Even, like, just looking between this and the previous uh, little story bit, right? Yeah. I guess I have to go find more scene. Um, there's so much more just storytelling. <laughs> yes. You know? <laughs> yes. I mean, even, like, just the concept of STEM is friggin' expanded on so far I know you're out there oh hey hey it's this man do you have any idea why this world is the way it oh is? this is familiar hate hate Ruvik's hate the man's consumed by it he wants out wants to get his revenge he wants back what he feels the world took from him so has it ever explained to us who this man is? I don't What's think that? so. Oh. How does he know about Ruvik? <laughs> She's Fucking... asking sensible questions yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> Seb never asked. He just knew it. Is this... Oh, hell yeah. Despite our powerful benefactors, with this much collateral damage, it's only a matter of time before people start to take notice. 
KCPD has been dropping by a female officer. I don't remember the oh. name. Regardless, the police are not something I should be involved with. Mobius says they will take care of it and make an effort to ensure oh. KCPD leave us alone. Really? Then there is the reporter from the Crimson Post, Ivan. Something or other, he has become a personal annoyance. He barely qualifies as a tabloid journalist writing cover stories about tales of church sacrifices oh. and other nonsense. But now he's being persistent about the missing patient's claim. I'll be damned if he is the man who brings Beacon down. Are you fucking serious? solving. <laughs> Perhaps I can interest this reporter in an exclusive interview. So right there, in this simple fucking entry, they explain, I'm guessing, at first I thought he was talking about Kidman. Yeah. But if Mobius is going to take care of it, it's not her. It's fucking Seb's wife. That's why she disappeared. She got too close to friggin' Illuminati over here. <laughs> Boom. Like... Problem solved. <laughs> Why why the Illuminati were involved in freaking Seb's daughter catching on fire, I don't, don't understand. Know. And I'm guessing we're not going to get an explanation for that, because that's too stupid for explanation. Right. But we've even got, like, somebody actually investigating all the missing persons claims. <laughs> like... It, it's a story. There's like a narrative. Yeah. There's there's characters and explanations. Like, like, I don't even know who that Ivan or whatever was, but it's not important. The important thing is, so, they took the time to be like, there are people looking into this, and they're also being hunted down for it. I was going to say, is that the reporter? That's We were talking about who's that, that guy in Shadow all the time. It's like... Is that the reporter? That's what I took away from it. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe that's why that's here. <laughs> See, I was thinking up until this moment yeah. that maybe it was the Mobius guy. Yeah. Like, it had to have been someone that Ruvik would have wanted vengeance on. And also, he's always in the shadows and we never see his face. Yeah. It would have made sense to me. Alas... Oh, hey, Leslie. Oh, hey. Leslie. Nope. Found Leslie. If I'm still here, then he must be too. What's... Oh, hey. It's, 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 it's the flowers. It's sunflowers. And it's got that, that, that like, dark effect that Ruvik loves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go check what Seb is doing here. Yeah. Sebastian. Too bad they dragged you into this. Oh, hey. But either way, you're mine. To do with as I please. Oh, this is where the shipping comes from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sebastian. Oh. He must be somewhere else right now. Damn it, he doesn't have anything to do with this. She cares. She cares now. <laughs> There's like emotion and stuff going on. Yay. Um the fuck was I talking about before this? Right, right. So talking about storytelling. Mm -hmm. And you know, this was pretty good examples of that. Uh like the way the stem thing is playing with uh Something's pulling me back. Playing with her past and her fears and her commitments. It's like... Useful. She just walked through me? Yeah. She'd find this useful, you know, this exit, this door. You are so annoying. <laughs> just, just go, I, it's fine. I fucking hate that character. <laughs> yes. I don't understand. I, I don't like her either. She's... Absolutely. And then we're gonna turn around and there's gonna oh be monitors. To overwrite themselves on a user. The odds of compatibility are astronomical. But the boy, Leslie, 
You're saying he's a compatible subject. They knew. Yes. And based on Ruben's notes, the stem should be able to run with Leslie as its source. I need you to do tests. Determine what must be done to make him the blank slate we need. <sighs> Wait. They knew what Leslie was capable of. Damn it, why would they hide that from me? Who was that that was talking to him? Uh, was that not the guy in the cell? No. A different it, voice. Be sure, yeah, it some... looked and kind of sounded like him. Uh, and... I want to... I, I, I'm leaning towards that as my theory. Right. <laughs> I... <laughs> it would just make a little bit more sense to me for him to be, you know... Because even if he's the reporter, like... The reporter doesn't know that sh much shit about Ruvik. He knows yeah. about the fucking missing persons. Yeah. So um, that, that's also a very... As a scientist, he guess. would probably know more about Ruvik. Right. This looks like a familiar room. <clears throat> well, that looks definitely familiar, that's for sure. We have oh. a STEM terminal here. On the lowest floor. Oh shit. Wait, what? If Leslie's in here with me, he's probably headed there. And that may be my way out of here. Okay. I, I can't argue with that logic. Makes sense to me. What was. Hmm. The fuck? Anyways, what was? With the power Trying to figure it out. Okay. Again. But, um... God damn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Is this game just, like, messing with you? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Is, can your brain not handle this? You know what? My brain can't handle how the DLC functions so much more as a game and a story. <laughs> well, it, it's it's really starting to piss me off. Yes. Like, where was any of this in the main campaign? Yes. Absolutely. Who is responsible for this DLC? <laughs> and why were why 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 did this not happen with the fucking the main campaign, like, let me ask you, right? Yeah. Wait, this seems like the way to go. Yes. The, uh, fuck. I was thinking about it, I'm like, there aren't really items, but I don't want to miss one of these note safes. Uh, you know, I'll just admit it, I'll go look it up right now. And okay. then that way I don't want to miss any because I didn't assemble the note for this for this chapter either, so I, I'm, I'm very intrigued as to what. Well, yeah, it says. you just said you missed that first one. <laughs> yeah, you never turned around. <laughs> I didn't, uh -oh. didn't even know that was a thing. Um, don't turn around. Uh oh. Nope. There's nothing in this area that it looks like that I oh. see. Bumzo. Like... All right. Um. Yeah, like I'm trying to figure out: is this is this before Mikami or after? Is this full Mikami? <laughs> like, I don't who, know. Who was in charge of this part of the game? I can't tell you. I want to know. I I want to know as well, I, but I can't tell I you. I know. I it's know. It's frustrating. Like, All this good stuff is it's, good. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, a half-decent jump scare. Hey, robbing me of my safety item. No. Oh my god. I can barely see anything in here. Dude, in friggin... Lights. Better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. In pure dark mode, this part must be hell. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, uh, wait, wait. Do I have. Yeah, you have unlimited ones, but I think you can only throw like. Or only like two or three can be at at the same time. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's but cool. Imagine doing this with with no light. Like you don't even see that light in the distance. It's just all dark. Like imagine uh, imagine doing this part of the game with nothing but this. Oh man. This must suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This machine was designed for me. People like you, you took my life away.